So there we are. So I've worked out my three outer walls for my section model and what I'm going to do now is start piecing this together. Also all of these are measured just through counting the bricks, doing a few multiplying sums and a little bit of an educated guess at times. Don't be afraid to round something up if needs be. Don't be afraid to visually guess. That looks like it would be roughly three bricks. It's okay to do in the circumstances that we're in at the minute. So what I'm going to do then is start piecing this together. So I have my front wall, which is going to go here, and my back wall, which is going to come on this side here. So just with a little bit of glue, very, very thin amount of glue just down the side here. There we are. And I'm just going to hold this wall in place for a little while just to let the glue sit. There we go. And I'm going to glue my back wall. There we go. And there we have the beginnings of a section model. So the next steps are to add to our roof here and that can be done just by taking this measurement and allowing for a little bit of uh, an overhang because if, we, if you look at the image of your house you'll see that your roof will always come and have a little lip over the edge of your wall so we will build up our little chimney block here and then build up our roof around that so here I've got my two little roof pieces which I'm just going to glue on to this model here. So put a little dab of glue just to hold this in place once it's on. And make sure it's lined up well with our point. And just hold it in place for a little second. Now, and that's one half of our roof. Do the exact same on the other side. <coughs> a little bit of glue just to hold it in place. A little bit of glue goes a long way. And add our other half on. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue just up here to make sure that our roof will stick together at that meeting point here. So sometimes it takes a little bit of holding in place, a little bit of pushing, but then it comes together there. So the reason I've done the roof before I do this chimney is because once you look on Google Earth, the chimney looks as if it's built around this um <clears throat> this roof. So I'm just going to build that now. Um working around the shape of the roof that we have. So let me see how can I position this. Uh, that might be a little better. Yep. <clears throat> so, got another half 
for my roof here and two of the side sections to both it up. So I'll glue on the side pieces first. So we started off with this roof in 2D and what we're essentially going to try and do now is build up this chimney in a 3D form. Because although we're doing a section model, the piece that we're doing in section still has to have those three dimensions to it. So if that makes sense. So I'm just going to do those side bits on. Okay, and there we are. And so we just have to cut, make a cut out in this little piece so that it can slot over the shape of that roof. And Let's see. So the way I'm going to do it is, again, this is the element of guesstimation, which is allowed to happen. So what I'm going to do is lay that piece down just on top of where that um, other piece is, because this is going to mirror the section here so I'm just going to lay that as best I can and then follow the axis of the roof that we've already constructed here because this box just needs to fit over that axis there we are now, and just going to cut that out and model making like this especially when you don't know the dimensions can be trial and error also you should be using which I should be doing a metal ruler to always make sure your cuts are straight there we are so we have that little section cut out so before we do anything with glue we'll just try it on and it fits perfectly. Right, can you see there? So that fits on well. What we'll do is just glue that on in place. There we are. Right. And that is the outer shell for a section model complete. So you can kind of see a little bit through just through the light coming in my window there. The whole point of a section model is to show what you know you can show things like what the light coming through the windows actually looks like in the inside space there. So the only difference and what you guys have to do is that your models should have a thickness to the walls and to the roof. And the way to do that is to do some research into section drawings of terrace houses. Um, and try and find one that's as similar as possible to your house that you have. So, for example... If I was to find a section drawing that looked oh, horrible, <laughs> let's see, I'll put this down. So if I was to find a section drawing of a terrace house that looked something like this. So I know this house is three stories. It's got a converted loft and it had the wall thicknesses in, it had space for doors to open had had floor thicknesses in 